There's Brazil and the entire football world express grief over the loss of a team on that chartered flight to Colombia. More details are starting to emerge about what went wrong and why. New video has also emerged showing an excited flight crew posing with members of the team just minutes before takeoff. The La Mia charter flight crashed into a mountainside on Tuesday, just k's short of Midland Airport after reportedly running out of fuel and repeatedly advising the control tower it was running out. 71 people, including most of the team, their support staff and 20 journalists traveling, traveling with them to cover the game were killed. Here's Alex Ashton. Colombian model and co-pilot Ceci Arias speaking from the cockpit of her first civilian flight. We are ready to offer them the best service. It's very important to know they use a Bolivian company. Back in the cabin, Chapaquense forward Everton Kempes taps the pilot, Miguel Quiroga, who's also the plane's owner, jokingly on the shoulder. It's a very important final for us, and being taken by La Mia makes it all right. Just hours later, as his plane runs short of fuel, Pilot Miguel Quiroga radios Midlin Airport. We have a fuel emergency. That is why I'm asking for final instructions immediately. I need to land immediately. La Mia 2933. In the control tower at Midlin Airport, another plane reports a fuel leak. As that plane makes an emergency landing, Flight 2933 desperately circles the airport in bad weather before being given permission by air traffic control to land. The runway is ready. Expect rain on the surface, Lemire 933. The fire service is alerted. I do not have your altitude, Lemire 933. The pilot replies he's at 9,000 feet. As his plane loses radar, a terrified Mr. Quiroga tells the control tower his plane's experiencing electrical difficulties. He can be heard asking the control tower for coordinates. The air traffic controller tells him he's eight miles from the runway. The pilot's last word is Jesus before the plane loses contact with Medellin Airport and crashes into the mountainside. At a media conference in Medellin, Colombia's Secretary for Civil Aviation, Freddie Benilla, said a lack of fuel was the most likely explanation for the crash, as there had been no explosion on impact. Estamos investigando, manejando, al no encontrar combustible. One hypothesis we're investigating and dealing with after not finding any fuel at the impact zone in the surrounding area nor in the supply lines is that there was a flame out in the engines due to the lack of fuel. Having the engines shut down, the engines are the electrical source, they produce the power. Even though the plane had an APU, a backup generator, without the fuel, the electrical source would have been completely lost. Six people survived the crash, including three players, two flight crew and a journalist. Investigators from Brazil, Bolivia and Britain are all taking part in an investigation. For Checkpoint, Alex Ashton.